Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to Fool of the Year. So it's been an interesting 2021. Who is our Fool of the Year though? Well, we started out the year with Boris Johnson suggesting that it was necessary to leave the EU to roll out the vaccine. While the UK was one of the first, yes, these arguments had fallen by the wayside a few months in. Then we had the anti-lockdown people, such as Brexit hardman Steve Baker and pint of milk carrying Charles Walker, remember him. He said it was his way of protesting by carrying a pint of milk around with him wherever he went. Surreal stuff. Later we had Lord Frost, the Brexit minister, trashing his own agreement, the oven-ready deal that Boris Johnson based the entire 2019 manifesto on. Brexiteers both in Northern Ireland and Great Britain uh, were predicting the triggering of Article 16 and were still waiting for that to be invoked. Marc Francois, the Spartan hero whose book was censored by Ramona publishing houses, so he went ahead and published it himself. What about the Scottish Tories, Douglas Ross, for example, who didn't know whether to defend Boris Johnson or not? Tim Martin of Witherspoons, Brexit's own Wurzel Gummidge, complaining about how after Brexit he couldn't staff his pubs and how he lost millions of pounds. There was more recently Maggie Thorpe, who didn't understand what a Christmas party was when she attempted to defend what Boris Johnson and Number 10 had been up to last year. Liz Truss, who used to be a Remainer and someone who said that the UK wouldn't be able to sign good trade deals, signing crappy trade deals, well, crappy for British farmers, not for New Zealander ones. And last but not least, of course, Owen Patterson, disgraced Tory MP who, through sheer arrogance, caused the party to lose a safe seat that they had held for 200 years. Who is our fool of the year? I would say the Conservative Party, that's who. See you all in 2022 for our next fool.